Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Larson, regardless of the fact that he has the counter pick, and you can see he's trying to figure it out, will just take the Orianna. Not going to be the best in lane, but something that does incredibly well when you're looking at Malrang, who wants to go in and start these fights in the Vibe. Answer that particular setup, but for the moment it's all been nice, easy, breezy. Maran gets himself dive that came in. This wasn't the Vi making you know a Sivir, you know, feel very you know uh, weak in the first or a few slates. So that's going to be all bot lane from the side of Koi. But now top side, this Cassante is in a lot of trouble here. He does not have flash. He does use his ghost. So he's going to try and maybe get away from this one here. But with the Lulu there, the first blood comes in. Kaiser picks that one up with the ignite. And that is a nice little move there from Vitality to try and answer for that bot lane pressure. Yeah, they should be able to get another play, but Neon's in no man's land. He really is. He has the ghost popping and he's going to try and get himself away maybe with the flash, but I think he knows he's dead to rights regardless of what happens. So he keeps that summoner. That's a trade of one for one, but most importantly, Koi got the tower as well. I mean, Vitality should get the tower off this charge too, so at least it will be tower for Drippy. terror, but I think this is... Yeah, Drippy's Drippy. a bit over. I don't think you want to be here, man. He's going to try and keep himself alive as much as he can. He trades back one kill because the tower just stacked up. Didn't even lose his flash. This half of the map, so Larson will need to back away, but Koi will, should be able to get this dragon unless oh. both can get the steal. He's looking for it right now. They're trying to just kind of make them think twice about going for this. Malran gets polymorphed as we can see comp going in. Now you've got Larson getting a little bit more mana down. And some supportal combat sees the Lulu fall. The Soraka again by Tally tried to hard force it, but like this Riftarel has a little bit more health on him, so very hard to hear. You can see Photon with that level 11 will have the two levels in the needlework. Should be able to smash through these health bars. All summoners available pretty much. You are missing though a flash on Malrang. Here we go. Riftarel down to about 1700. Here we go. I'm going to try to see Malrang try and go for a little bit of a steal. It's secured by Bo. As if I can really ensue, you've got the Gwen on the backside, but Comp is just doing so, so much. He finally gets a little bit of damage thrown onto him, but look at him, just lasering people down. They can't prioritize him. They can't keep the damage to stick, and Comp just shreds through Vitality. Comp got a flash forward, gets himself a third, and Koi are coming alive over the course of this weekend. Fantastic stuff from the bot lane. Really? So if Comp dies, it's a big issue for Koi, but if he doesn't, Vitality are gonna have a massive issue trying to get rid of him. Yeah, it looks like Vitality, yeah. I mean, it looks like Koi are just gonna trade this for a mid lane turret as well. Yeah. It's like, look, Oh, Neon, he does not get away. He flashes over the wall, but I don't think he's really going to be able to try and fight this one. But with Kaiser on the backside, he does have a little bit of extra support perks. Towers are just trading back and forth, and now a Baron about to spawn when we're already looking down at a soul for Koi as well. I mean, it looks like Vitality are going to fully commit to this. I mean, you've, no, you've only got the vision of the wall. They need to stop Malran getting into the pit. Here we go. They're going to stop him right now, and they secure it. Vitality are not willing to take a 5v5, so they take away the big purple worm, but now they need to get these... Baron buffs out Bo, using the terrain to his advantage and those empowered plants to make sure he can keep to the pit. Koi taking a quick pit stop seat if they can get the mid lane turret, but yeah, I mean, Vitality won't get here. The biggest priority on our side, so get the Baron, get themselves back onto the map to try and push this one around, and yeah, that's Too strong. <laughs> so this is uh, definitely Vitality now. Up against the wall and a long climb ahead of him that is certain. Red, if given a thing, but the TP's coming in. Vitality want to try and take out Larson before this fight can really begin. He's going to get a fair chunk onto him. He shockwaves to try and save himself some time. Ooh, does nice little sidestep to keep himself there, but a flash forward by Bo does knock him up and he gets shut down. Bo picks up that kill. This is smart from Vitality. They know they can take a 5v4 around the Baron Pit, but they don't need to do it right now. They can still look for poke damage. Cassante should be coming in and should be tanky enough to walk away. But now 4v5, you're feeling good, but there is still a TP on Larson. They need to take this quick. Yeah, I mean, Larson's just not going to be up for 30 seconds now. They should be able to get this reset and go for the Elder Dragon fight as well. Trimby already taking relatively low. Oh. Photon still has ult as well. Keep your eyes on the Gwen. Rise on the Gwen, Malrang up the top side, the Gwen goes in on top of him. Malrang lost his, half his HP, and now the Needlework's coming in. Trimby's already very low as well. The full fight with the Gwen is dead. Now you're looking at the Sivir's Cop moves forward fearlessly. Neon finally takes a kill on the Trimby, but you're going to see if you can make this fight work. Double kill for the Zeri. It's so damn close, but you got to remember, that was a 5v4 in favor of Vitality. Keep these Baron buff alive. It becomes very hard for Koi to push against it and try and use this Elder Dragon. Elder does get picked up. A couple more seconds and you would imagine this Baron should be secured. Larson's not really the fight you want to be going for at the moment. 
couple more seconds. You've got pretty much like it's like four fifths of the dragon gone. So you'll lose this outer turret. You're not going to lose any inhibitors, and it is going to be a pretty easy defense now for Vitality. And the game goes on, Dagda. I mean, look, is that it? This is where we get to see multiple elders, like we saw the last time of both. There is the port. Yeah, he knows that the Elder's going to be going off very, very soon as they try and find... The oh my god, they've got the Cassante down. He's already gone into stasis. The team's alive. Bo still taking down with a little bit of the Elder, but now Photon tries to get in with the Needlework. They're moving forward. Larson very low, but a great shockwave stops the support. No cavalry for you. Perk trying to do the damage on the backside, but Comp is so healthy. Comp is just massive in these fights, and Koi may look for the end of boss. Trimby's doing a ton of work. Malran getting the pick on towards Neon as well, and now, as you say, a wave is here. Koi, they want to take game one. They want to take game one. They don't want to wait for the next spawns of Baron or Elder. You still have some decent wave clear though with perks. So you got to be very, very careful. He will do significant damage and there's still a Baron buff ticking up. So hard to make this one stick. Here we go. They're going to try and make this one on top of the carries. But with Bo moving in to try and deal with the minions, he will fall. But he did his job. Do they wait for the next wave? They've got a couple more seconds till the Sivir and the Gwen respawn. And they're going for a reset for TP in. I mean, there's the TP. She got to just try to keep the wave on. Perk sidestep. He sidesteps. Malran goes gold. And Nexus to her number one falls. It looks like Koi have found themselves an opportunity. All they needed was one fight. Kaiser goes in. But immediately, he cannot do anything about it. They don't even care about the Lulu. They've dealt with it. They don't need to move forward with it. And they can take down the Nexus. Perks tried to hold on. Double AD. And we're seeing Adam getting a little bit of a, a reference here. Going to see now Photon taking the... I mean... He's kind of been put back on it, to be perfectly honest, by Koi. They've been doing a really good job in at least game one in trying to make sure Malrang prevented him from having any sort of plays at comp now. Starting shield early. Yeah, starting shield, which means they can flash in. No, he doesn't have an aggressive setup here where the ignite goes down before the heal comes out. Comp flashes over the wall. Kaiser has nowhere to go. And Kaiser will fall first blood to the bot lane of Koi. And that just feels like the, 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 the cherry on top of what this bot lane has been for Koi. I mean, Trimby again, going for the, immediately going for the level two, but Maorang is here to match. They spotted him, they had a ward on him there, so they now know with the Javelin Toss coming in, it will be a 3v2 in favor of Koi. They're gonna try and jump in this, but he started Spell Shield and the barrier. Oh, Daikta, this is disaster. If they can secure this kill, Maorang gets that one. You still have an Ash, he's pushing forward. Kaiser will be able to get out with the dredge line, but oh, go bot! I can cover this. Make sure I'm in position to make you know to make sure that boat does not get ahead because we talked about it. It's a carry jungler. You need to start fights, and you're going to keep going for this one. Marang pushing forward here, going to try and catch out Kaiser. Yeah, he's dead to rights. Nothing he can really do there. And this is quite, they're slaughtering Vitality in the first few minutes. I mean, there's blood all over. It feels like you need to try and go for something, but maybe not in the mid lane. You do not have flash here for perks. He's going to be able to use the soul unbound. But guess what? That goes up, must come down. And ooh, not quite able to get away from the Emperor's Divide. Malrang, 3 0 0, going back towards the Xin Zhao. Photon trying to see if he can maybe make something work here. It does have ghost popped and no real way to try and stop it. Oh! Oh, they weren't that great, but during groups so far, they've had been incredible. And now Shigen, they're trying to find the 1v1 on top side, but I think Larson. Yeah, he's looking for the play, does get the flash in, and the ult back perks, just trying to wait for his support and jungler to really help him out, but you've got the range advantage, and you're just peppering down these health bars. Larson picks up his first Ooh. full levels in terms of support, and not having access to your ultimate as a Nautilus just feels so debilitating, and... See Photon and Segenda trying to go crazy in the top side. We will come back in here now into the oh, bottom lane as Comp picks up a kill. While that was happening, Segenda did back away. Or three, we're going back in on the top side. We can see in the picture in picture, he picks himself up a solo bolo. It's all going to hell and Vitality. Back to force out summoners here from Neon. The Ash is just so oppressive. Kaiser wishes he had his ultimate to go for an engage over the wall, but he does not now. Trying to drop the Rift Held into that mid lane. Gonna get a couple of plates. Bo gets hit by an arrow. Gets jumped on by Malran. They're gonna try and knock him over the wall. I'm not gonna be able to get it, but it doesn't matter. The damage is just too damn good. It sticks to him like glue. Perk's trying to see if he can outplay this. Flashes towards his dragon, but the wind becomes lightning, and your death is confirmed. Your fate is sealed. 9 and 0 oh in kills, 13 minutes into the game. And this is why I really don't think you can give Trimby the. Uh, Marang's just going to pass out here. Execute. I don't think you can give Trimby Hooray! the Ash. I think Shigenda, fixing Shigenda's lane, honestly, with that pick as well. So I think Koi. I mean, this is a fantastic play around Neon, not having that ultimate available for just a little bit longer, but 
Malrang gonna run into many members here. He is gonna run into many members. Still has got the ultimate off, so the Crescent Guard good, but you got Trimby coming in here alongside Calm. I don't know if you wanna try and fight this. The flash in though to shut him down. First kill of the game for Vitality. It was a photon, but the clean up crew of Larson is here. I will say Perch does get a nice little kill back as Trimby very, very low. It's just turning what? around. Vitality just take a fight and they find a four for two. It's silly nearly 4,000 gold deficit that Vitality have to overcome. And the big thing is Vitality have to go. Game. It's still the early game. We haven't hit the mid just yet. We will see Trimby moving forward to try and see if he can maybe get a cheeky steal. They are doing a good job of trying to play out map states, trying to see if they can keep these advantages going, collecting some of this standing uh, bounties on the turrets as well. But boy, get top, they get mid. And I think this is going to be kind of the name of the game to see going Very far. much possible. I think we're going to see the game slow down a little bit here, though. As I say, that Perks gets his. He does get hit right in the face. It's going to take a while for him to go down. Perks actually moves down towards this... Uh... I'm not quite sure exactly what he was I think that might have been go. the worst possible direction for him. Yeah, I was going to say, look, at a 360 degrees, yeah, yeah, that yeah. degree was not the one I would have chosen. Yeah, I mean... It... <laughs> so I will say Larson did go very, very low. So if he lands the Fate Seal, maybe it's a different conversation. But it does not happen we'll quite. Find it. I think the big thing here is like, how do Vitality dress? It says TP topside. Yeah, another Ash Arrow does land. It's gonna hit onto Bo, who's still stunned as he tried to get over the side of the wall. But Maorang was waiting for him, and that's just more good play from Koi. They're just calling all the bluffs. They're saying, look, we know you're gonna overload the map. We know you're gonna try and make a play onto what you're stronger with, and we're not gonna let you. Towards Olaf in the top sides. No, not quite yet, but. It's the thing with the uh, cooldown Ash, it's already a quarter of the way done. Kaiser runs forward, Kaiser taking a lot of damage, and Kaiser falls, but they're gonna take the fight anyway. It's a one for one, you lost a jungler for a support. TP comes in from Perks, it's almost a mirror of the last fight around Red Bull. We saw Larson might be in a lot of trouble here. He does get the ultimate off to try and stop Perks from getting anything else. Sagenda, Silica Sante, they go forward. Trimby's left all isolated on his own. Finally, Comp joins the fight, and Comp can start to really rip through them. Eventually, the Larson will die. The Baron's still doing damage. Baron plays for Vitality, and Baron sets it up on a nice little play. Bo will not be taken down just yet, but Comp is doing so much for this Koi lineup. It was also get out Trimby to get over the wall, but Comp, as soon as he arrives from the mid lane, that's the difference maker here. Mid lane is going to be seized down as well. Comp takes a full javelin to the face, and that brings him down to just above half HP. Messing these TPs, though, because honestly, I think if you actually spread out and you're able to force numbers advantages, you can go for it. Here we go. They're going to go all out here with the Cassante. He takes him very, very low, but they've got some decent damage here. It's a full 5v5 once more. The Fate Seal doesn't really do a lot, and now these health bars are going to start going down. Good sweep coming out from Larson. And I think we're already starting to hit that late game. Photon just that bit overextended. And quite punish. I mean, look at that. Three items onto the silver. Comp game one and game two has had a fantastic game. Seven, one, and seven. Nerdy having his fourth item complete as well. And now with the Baron up creep wave, they're just going to start to siege this one. Oh, Neon my God. Is... Neon might be dead right now. They're going to look for Malran to get him. He didn't even throw anything out. Just the pure idea that he might be able to kill him forces the ultimate out of Neon. Yes, you're getting turrets on the top side, but you're going to lose the game, Vitality. You can't just let this continue. I mean, they were never going to be able to hold on to the spotlight turret, but now Photon does need to reset because Koi are setting their eyes on Nexus turrets. Shigenda moving in towards the mid lane turret. It's going to be a second inhibitor turret to fall. And Vitality, they don't have anything. Kaiser needs to try and find an engage. We're joining a Nautilus that is so far behind. Level 9 at 26 minutes in the game. Yeah, level 9. He is three levels down on his opposite number, Trimby, and they are already on to the Nexus turrets. Ash Arrow goes wide. You can see the Koi kind of reset themselves around these Baron minions. Here we go. The Fate Seal lands on the two, but Perks immediately has to bring himself back. Larson goes golden after getting the sweep, and it's going to be just that, you would imagine, for the side of Koi. They are going to take down the number one seed of the regular winter split in a 2-0 fashion and they're gonna look damn good doing it. Playoffs is here, Koi turning around the number one in the regular split and Koi are the ones that are taking them down. It's gotta feel good.